the International Telecommunication Union, originally the International Telegraph Union, is a specialized agency of the United Nations that is responsible for issues that concern information and communication technologies. The ITU coordinates the shared global use of the radio spectrum, promotes international cooperation in assigning satellite orbits, works to improve telecommunication infrastructure in the developing world, and assists in the development and coordination of worldwide technical standards. The ITU is active in areas including broadband internet, latest generation wireless technologies, aeronautical and maritime navigation, radio astronomy, satellite-based meteorology, convergence in fixed mobile phone, internet access, data, voice, TV broadcasting, and next generation networks. ITU also organizes worldwide and regional exhibitions and forums, such as ITU Telecom World, bringing together representatives of government and the telecommunications and ICT industry to exchange ideas, knowledge and technology. ITU, based in Geneva, Switzerland, is a member of the United Nations Development Group. ITU has been an intergovernmental public-private partnership organization since its inception. Its membership includes 193 member states and around 700 public and private sector companies as well as international and regional telecommunication entities, known as sector members and associates, which undertake most of the work of each sector. History ITU was formed in 1865 at the International Telegraph Convention. ITU became a United Nations specialized agency in 1947. ITU sectors the ITU comprises three sectors, each managing a different aspect of the matters handled by the Union, as well as ITU Telecom. The sectors were created during the restructuring of ITU at its 1992 plenipotentiary conference. Radio Communication, managing the international radio frequency spectrum and satellite orbit resources is at the heart of the work of the ITU radio communication sector. Standardization Standardization was the original purpose of ITU when it was founded. This sector remains responsible global telecommunication standards, except for radio. Prior to 1992 it was known as the International Telephone and Telegraph Consultative Committee or CCITT, development, established to help spread equitable, sustainable and affordable access to information and communication technologies. ITU Telecom ITU Telecom organizes major events for the world's ICT community. ITU Telecom World 2011 is ITU Telecom's 40th anniversary with the first event in 1971. A permanent general secretariat, headed by the Secretary General, manages the day-to-day -day work of the union and its sectors. Legal Framework of ITU The basic texts of the ITU are adopted by the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. The founding document of the ITU was the 1865 International Telegraph Convention, which has since been amended several times and is now entitled the Constitution and Convention of the International Telecommunication Union. In addition to the Constitution and Convention, the consolidated basic texts include the optional protocol on the settlement of disputes, the decisions, resolutions and recommendations in force, as well as the general rules of conferences assemblies and meetings of the Union. Leadership The ITU is headed by a Secretary-General, who is elected to a four-year term by the member states at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. At the 17th ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in Antalya, Turkey, the ITU's member states elected Dr. Hamad Omtur a copyright of Mali as Secretary-General of the Union. He was re-elected for a second four-year term at the 18th ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in Guadalajara, Mexico. Directors and Secretaries General of ITU, Membership Membership of ITU is open to governments, which may join the Union as member states, as well as to private organizations like carriers, equipment manufacturers, funding bodies, research and development organizations and international and regional telecommunication organizations, which can join ITU as non-voting sector members. There are 193 member states of the ITU, which includes 192 UN member states and the Vatican City. The most recent member state to join the ITU is South Sudan, which became a member on July 14, 2011.
the Republic of China was blocked from membership by the People's Republic of China, but nevertheless received a country code, being listed as Taiwan, China. Palestine was admitted as an observer in 2010. World Summit on the Information Society The ITU was the lead organizing agency of the World Summit on the Information Society. World Conference on International Telecommunications 2012 In December 2012, the ITU facilitated the World Conference on International Telecommunications 2012 in Dubai. WCIT-12 was a treaty-level conference to address international telecommunications regulations, the international rules for telecommunications, including international tariffs. The previous conference to update the regulations was held in Melbourne in 1988. In August 2012, ITU called for a public consultation on a draft document ahead of the conference. It is claimed the proposal would allow government restriction or blocking of information disseminated via the Internet and create a global regime of the monitoring Internet communications, including the demand that those who send and receive information identify themselves. It would also allow governments to shut down the Internet if there is the belief that it may interfere in the internal affairs of other states or that information of a sensitive nature might be shared. Telecommunications ministers from 193 countries attended the conference in Dubai. Changes to international telecommunication regulations The current regulatory structure was based on voice telecommunications, when the Internet was still in its infancy. In 1988, telecommunications operated under regulated monopolies in most countries. As the Internet has grown, organizations such as ICANN have come into existence to manage key resources such as Internet addresses and domain names. Some outside the United States believe that the United States exerts too much influence over the governance of the Internet. Proposed changes to the treaty and concerns, current proposals look to take into account the prevalence of data communications. Proposals under consideration would establish regulatory oversight by the UN over security, fraud, traffic accounting as well as traffic flow, management of Internet domain names and IP addresses, and other aspects of the Internet that are currently governed either by community-based approaches such as regional Internet registries, ICANN, or largely national regulatory frameworks. The move by the ITU and some countries has alarmed many within the United States and within the Internet community. Indeed some European telecommunication services have proposed a so-called sender pays model that would require sources of Internet traffic to pay destinations, similar to the way funds are transferred between countries using the telephone. The WCIT-12 activity has been attacked by Google, which has characterized it as a threat to the free and open Internet. On November 22, 2012, the European Parliament passed a resolution urging member states to prevent ITU-WCIT-12 activity that would negatively impact the Internet, its architecture, operations, content and security, business relations, Internet governance and the free flow of information online. The resolution asserted that the ITU is not the appropriate body to assert regulatory authority over the Internet. On December 5, 2012, the lower chamber of the United States Congress passed a resolution opposing UN governance of the Internet by a rare unanimous 397 Euro 0 vote. The resolution warned that proposals have been put forward for consideration at the WCIT-12 that would fundamentally alter the governance and operation of the Internet and would attempt to justify increased government control over the Internet and stated that the policy of the United States is to promote a global Internet free from government control and preserve and advance the successful multi-stakeholder model that governs the Internet today. The same resolution had previously been passed unanimously by the upper chamber of the Congress in September. On December 14, 2012, an amended version of the regulations was signed by 89 of the 152 countries. Countries that did not sign included the United States, Japan, Canada, Germany, New Zealand, India and the United Kingdom. The head of the U.S. delegation, Terry Kramer, said we cannot support a treaty that is not supportive of the multi-stakeholder model of Internet governance. 
the disagreement appeared to be over some language in the revised ITRs referring to ITU roles in addressing unsolicited bulk communications, network security, and a resolution on Internet governance that called for government participation in Internet topics at various ITU forums. Despite the significant number of countries not signing, the ITU organization came out with a press release, New Global Telecoms Treaty Agreed in Dubai. WCIT-12 Conference Participation The conference itself was managed by the International Telecommunication Union. While certain parts of civil society and industry were able to advise and observe, active participation was restricted to member states. The Electronic Frontier Foundation expressed concern at this, calling for a more transparent multi-stakeholder process. Some leaked contributions can be found on the sitleaks.org website. Google-affiliated researchers have suggested that the ITU should completely reform its processes to align itself with the openness and participation of other multi-stakeholder organizations concerned with the Internet. See also Internet Engineering Task Force, Internet Governance Forum, ICANN, American Registry for Internet Numbers, RIPE, AFRI NIC, Latin America and Caribbean Network Information Center, Internet Society, Flame, United States FCC Commissioner Robert M. McDowell, H331, Inter-American Telecommunication Commission, ITU Radio Communication Sector, ITU Telecommunication Development Sector, ITU Telecommunication Standardization Sector, ITU R Recommendations, ITU T Recommendations, Telephone Numbers in the European Union, X509, Working Group on Internet Governance, Child Online Protection, References External links Official Website, History of ITU Portal, ITU Telecom World 2011, Protect Global Internet Freedom Coalition, ITU Defines the Future of Mobile Communications, UN Summit to Focus on Internet A Euro Washington Post article about ICANN and the United Nations ITU relationship, Ryan Glick, The ITU Treaty Negotiations, a call for openness and participation, Render, Andrea. The UN, Internet Regulator. The Wall Street Journal, April 25, 2012. Retrieve May 29, 2012. Thyra, Adam. Does the Internet Need a Global Regulator? Forbes Magazine, May 6, 2012. Retrieve May 29, 2012. Surf, Binton. Keep the Internet Open, The New York Times, May 24, 2012. Retrieve May 29, 2012. Harrington, Matt. House Lawmakers to Consider Proposal for United Nations to Regulate the Internet, Syracuse.com, May 29, 2012. Retrieve May 30, 2012. Peterson, Josh. Deadline Approaches for Russia and China Led UN Internet Takeover. DailyCaller.com, May 24, 2012. Retrieve May 30, 2012. C-SPAN. Coverage of Free State Foundation, May 30, 2012. Retrieve May 31, 2012. Kang, Cecilia. U.S. tech companies warn of threat to Internet from foreign governments, The Washington Post, May 31, 2012. Retrieve May 31, 2012. Sure, Stephen. Putting the United Nations in charge of the Internet is the best idea ever, ZDNET. May 30, 2012. Retrieved June 1, 2012.